Let's start the recording. Okay, all right. Is there someone you want to connect with? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so yesterday I got a quote in from my higher self, and it ended up being part of uh, Commander Robert Farland from the U.S. Navy. Okay. So you want to, uh, what, do, who you want to connect to then? Oh, uh, the general or the commanders, if you can, if that's possible. Yeah. Or yeah, the no. commanders, yeah. Yeah, I said strike. I said strike first, strike strike uh, hard, and strike often. And it ended up being hit, hit hard, hit fast. So I was like, "Whoa!" I looked it up on, and I saw that. And, you know, is this like, is this like a real? Is this like a in our reality? Is this? Yeah, I I was at the dinner table, and I just <laughs> said the quote, and I looked up the quote, and it was connected to this guy. Oh, so, interesting. And, That's their and I well. I have like these commanders and I'm doing missions then, and they always come in and I, my grandfather, he was a, in the Navy and he always salutes me and stuff. And I he comes in and like real strong. So I just, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just want to f find out like what's going on. You know? Real reality for sure. Um, what was his name again? Um, Robert McFarland. Mar US Mar Navy commander. Robert They're all from real. So it's all a bunch of real world two <laughs> people that have like deceased. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Blessings. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Greens, this is Robert uh, McFarland. Uh, yes, you can say that, sir. Uh, the way to get you the SOS or there's no emergency, but it's to get your attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It came in clearly. I mean, I didn't get the quote correctly but it was pretty close and i looked you up and my great-grandfather was in the navy so i figured there was a connection with you guys and yes so I, i'm i'm wondering what's my involvement with like you guys and the commanders well he said the war is still going on in other realities as you know mm -hmm. so it's, uh, it is for you to you know you're healing that side of yourself you can say but it is okay to Oh wow, you know what you need for it to you know explore it. It's okay for it to uh, however it comes to you as a download. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. And it just well, it has to also do with this timeline also. Uh, this timeline is getting charged up by these other realities. Mm -hmm. You know, they're manipulating yours or affecting them, however you want to word it. So you'll I would say expect some energy turbulence throughout this year. I think you already had some already, but uh, esoteric okay. knowledge just down basically downloads. Basically, I'm just preparing you for it. <laughs> okay. And um, I was involved with breaking some barrier. Uh, were you in charge of that operation? Yes, I had a lot of involvement. Yes, you're more okay. of a, a silent. Or you're just kept covert. <laughs> yeah, figured. Uh, or well, during like World War II, yes, kind of to Mars. So okay. it's, it's basically wars on Mars during that time happened here also to some respect, and those that some of the that crossed over went actually to Mars itself to that reality. I had no idea. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's I think that's I, honestly I've been there and there there's like pits of fallen soldiers that are fighting. Right. Yeah. There's Correct. like a, yeah yeah. There's actually a World War One. Was it's on Mars. It's another version, yeah. but then there's also World War Two. Even World War Two piles are still showing up there. You can say. Yeah. Some of them in found my, the astral and then finding their way there. Yeah, I found them in. I found my grandfather, my great grandfather. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going. Yeah. So, all this is, yes, connected to your family lineage. Actually, goes mm -hmm. back to the Roman Empire. Oh, okay. Yeah. It goes back further about the Roman Empire. Yeah. It goes back further about the Roman Empire. That's what a lot of, you know, kinetic, the word comes through is kinetic engineering or electronic, electrical engineering. Similar to like a Tesla energy during that time of just manipulating timelines. Uh, you know, merging them with others, things like that, happened at that time. Okay.
you know, by very few beings that are involved with that, of course. <laughs> All right. So. And um, I connected with someone's energy field when I was watching a video and they were talking about Mars. I think I invaded a facility and opened it up. Where where was that exactly? On Mars? Like, where exactly? Or what is it? Yeah, like, was it on Mars? or Yes. Okay. Uh, more like the center. It's hard to give you actual location. Mm -hmm. uh, we just see like the center of Mars. Uh, center. Inner, I would say more inner Earth okay. or inner Mars. So... Uh, you've actually done mapping of Mars. Uh, on yeah, just Mars is part of your DNA, basically. Of course, that's part of the the Roman, but you definitely have Martian DNA. You probably have some idea of that. <laughs> yeah, it's in my uh, it's in my constellation chart. Yeah, and, uh, Zeta, Zeta Martian energy. More than that than reptilian, like Zeta Martian. <laughs> okay, uh, like. Like Mars had their version, the Zetas had their version of Mars where, you know, they used technologies and lost themselves, you can say. <laughs> okay, yeah. that makes sense. Similar to the stories you heard here about, you know, they became more, very reliant on technologies and just, and they became what they are. There's different versions of Zeta, but that's one of them. <laughs> so basically, it's kind of a future Zeta. Even on this planet. Yeah, you're just basically uh World War II is still combined with Mars, basically. Jupiter also in other planets, but mostly Mars. And that that rope between the two uh possibly will start to come to you more clearly. It's kind of confusing because there's a lot to it. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Uh thank you for coming in. I appreciate the information. Sure. Yes. Is there someone else you want to connect to? Or? Uh, the Morgan. The uh, Morgan? Celtic. Yeah. Celtic um, goddess. Okay. Yes. Uh, All right. Is yes, the Morgan of. Um, Yes, the goddess. Blessings to you. Greetings. Greetings. So uh, you, sh you showed up. Uh, I will watch. I looked at your photo and your my right ear cracked. And then I, I saw myself going into like some sort of battle on a planet. Um, Just wondered what's your connection with that? Well, it was uh, your energy was needed where your energy is already there, but uh, just uh, yeah, so a lot's going on with the inner earth. Uh, it's part of it's connected to France and uh, Germany, uh, just changes energetically. So, but yeah, so it basically just brought you, it was you were just needed, you needed awareness. That was you say, you're, yeah, that it's been taking some time for you to become more aware of it, though. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So, the inner earth wars basically is what you're being connected to and uh what's my connection with you in my past uh atlantean uh there's also a martian connection i did have connections there but mostly atlantean syrian energies uh aquatic uh, ocean connections are so all right um okay thank you for your knowledge i appreciate it yeah, you're also very you're connected to the whales. You have a, I don't know if you ever noticed that the whales. Yes, call. I've actually my good druid buddy. I saw him as a whale in Greece. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, the whale and also the turtle. Okay, turtle might show up possibly. It's it, turtle's got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, uh, someone you want to connect to or. Um, yeah, I'd like to get a message from the Arcturians. Okay, all right, let's see. We see with the Arcturians, blessings, same energies. Blessings. Uh, yes, you look for a message of 
Uh, you're healing your connection with your higher self. Like there was a disconnect at some point, or or still is. But it was definitely at one point. Uh, fractal energies has to do with your connections to the earth. Uh, you're incarnating here, and technically you didn't necessarily have to incarnate here. Uh, again, but you wanted to make some closure on this on these alien bases. All of these things just close everything out. So it's still in the process, as you can see. You say it became more dense than you realized it was going to get into. Um, yeah. It's like you open up one one door after the other. It's like it's getting more and more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you are being guided through it. But you're just, it's just like you're just getting more curious too. It's helping though. Well, you say part of this is also disconnecting you, meaning you don't have to, you're like healing your incarnation cycle here so you don't have to incarnate here. as often or or not at all it's up to you because <laughs> you've yeah been locked into this place for quite some time as you probably have some understanding yeah yeah i was told ten thousand years yes and this can be your last life if you want it to i mean you always it's always an option but but it feels like you just don't feel so obligated to come here so often Because in the past, I feel like you felt like you, this world needed you. And yes, that was true. But you kind of became obsessed with it in the past also. <laughs> hmm. Just to um, repair the earth. Part of you might have felt, you know, a duty due to what happened with the Atlanteans and the wars here. Kind of some ways, I feel like you blamed yourself in the past um, because it just got out of hand. You weren't always vocal about what you were because you're a seer. In the ancient world, and you say Atlantean, or even before that, you can see the future, and you know, weren't always speaking about it. So, and we believe you went about it the right way, but you still felt a little bit more, you know, felt kind of misuse your ability, meaning not to communicate more about what you're picking up on. We well, didn't have concern; you knew the world had to go through what it needed to go through, which was true. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, any any messages with the book that I'm writing? Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, very helpful. It can be as long as you want it to be. Uh, if you want a thousand pages, that's fine, or two volumes, or something like that. It feels like it should go long, <laughs> or more. Of it. it can go long. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> and people will eat it up. Uh, those that do find it. Uh yeah, getting the word out for it. Well, you have some venues, right? Some yeah, connect some people you can just mark yes. Yeah, it's getting the word out for it. Of course, there'll be some blockages. Some don't want you to put it out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my mother. <laughs> yeah. Uh you'll find a way to make it work, but you do have some internet connections that could help you with your book launch or things like that, or get yeah, you know, something. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Robert comes to mind. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you might have to go on a couple of times, and you know, not all at once, but every so often, I think you'd be okay with that, <laughs> or make some kind of arrangement or something. <laughs> yeah, because he might he might be writing his own book, maybe not now, but at some point. <laughs> uh, but the book, uh, it can be several. I mean, we do see a big one. But of course, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, but it can be several though. They can be short too. You don't have to be. We do see like a book is a thousand pages long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I say, it can be broken up and then made into one big volume. You know, obviously, I can get kind of a lot, but you know, either way, I think you understand. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, the Arcarians. Yes. I appreciate your information. Of course. Yes. Um, yeah. I guess the next thing I want to go to is, um, The energies of Fort Bliss and what I was born into, if that's possible. No, who is it you want to speak to? Uh, the the Fort Bliss Army Base. It's where I was born. I don't know. Fort can you Bliss, read energy? Army so? Base. Yes. Yeah. Uh, want us to bring that energy in, or to, or you want that? Uh, I mean, we can tap into it, or what is it that you're looking for? Or um, well, I was born there, and I think there was like black projects going on with aliens and stuff. Yes. Okay. And Uh, we can connect to that that army base if we can bring it through. If you yeah, want. I'll do that. And what, do that. what was the name of it again? Fort, uh, Fort Bliss. It's in Fort, Texas. Fort, Fort Bliss. Yeah, okay, Bliss. Yeah.
green seeds is for bliss. Frequencies, greens, um, black fudge. Yeah, there's a lot of Zeta presence there. Deep underground, future versions of Earth, you can say. Uh, Dick Cheney has a connection there. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of visits in your childhood, as you have some idea. Yeah, you were abducted a lot, as you probably know. <laughs> Yeah, I was born there, so. But they wanted to take you to another planet also, and we leave you there. Oh, man. I believe it was Mars. They didn't want you to be here, actually. But they felt like you knew too much, <laughs> even if you were just little. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, my father was stationed there. Was there anything that he was doing with um these secret bases? Uh, yeah, but missions that he didn't fully understand. I believe he did see alien life quite often, but he doesn't remember. But yeah, they erased it. Uh, also, your grandfather is connected to all this, so it does seem like your grandfather is going to open up all this military energy into your family line, at least recently, because <laughs> he was connected to black projects too, from what we're seeing. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, both sides of the family are military, so. Yeah, but uh, yeah, your grandfather was part of just uh, deep underground bases. Uh, obviously, they're gonna be careful where they talk about Norway. A lot of, a lot of Norway stuff there. So, and he did she see ships uh, out, you know, by the ice area, Iceland, things like that, or you know, alien ships. Um, he was allowed to retain some of that knowledge for for a short time, at least. <laughs> Yeah, even Okay. your gr grandfather was also a uh, time travel energy was yeah, too. Yeah, he never comes up anymore. So, yeah, he passed away recently. So, yeah, no, he wouldn't remember any of this stuff from what we're saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's good. Thank you for the information. I appreciate it. Yes, someone new connected with her. Um, we can connect to the dragons. See if they have any messages. The Gregans is a what kind of species is this or or uh wing racket rep I don't know, they're just like the the fire dragons, I guess, or okay. I guess they're a reptilian race. So, you know. Yes, okay. All right. Blessings. Rings is the Gregans. Rings. Yes, how Greetings. can we help you? Yes. Um, just uh any messages for me? Any guidance? Uh the seek well you've had general we've well, been when the S SSP general you like you're a general in many of those lifetimes. Did you have some I feel like that's why you were born where you were born, just to kind of kick start your Like you feel like you would find a military base to be born on no matter what it seems. Because <laughs> you're just part of your lineage. It has to be completed. And you're doing that now because you're exploring it. Mm -hmm. So it's also uh, just under, like I said, underground, as you know. Uh, Most of the underground facilities, things like that. Other versions of Earth. There's the Earth uh, version, like Earth Nine, that you're connected to. That's it. Just says it calls itself Nine. It's like a like a silver looking uh, Statue of Liberty, and just uh, even the water looks kind of silvery. <laughs> okay. And there's just a place that you go to. Well, you don't get attacked there. Let's put that. It's a bit more peaceful than this world. <laughs> But you can go there or not. Be interfered with, but you're not there very often. Uh, it's something you can tap into. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Someone you want to connect to us? Um, still irons. Greens, the P lines, the Greens. Greens.
Um, just yes. seeing if I uh, got any information for me to share for my journey here on this planet. Now, it seems like you're healing, but your heart chakra has been you know, a lot of uh, injury, you can say, here by being on the world because this world is, it's uh, just the agendas here are the opposite of yours. There's, um, uh, there's, yes, uh, the, the, we just came into your last channeling, but there's a silver, a silver ship in space. Silver, um, silver might start popping up for you, uh, possibly in images. Uh, uh, yeah, just it's just the look of one of your ships. Uh, it is Palladian, actually, what we're seeing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be connected to any species at all. But so it's the color of silver seems to be something that you're uh, at least using recently. Um, at least in that, you know, in the fourth dimension, other realities for your it's what well, it's harder to detect, let's put it that way. <laughs> like right. a stealthy type frequency, I'm saying. Uh, as for your journey here, just uh, research, keep doing what you're doing. It's like the feline energies, yeah, it's a lot of deep frequencies there, if, depending on how far you want to go with that. Uh, yeah, I got, yeah, okay, right. yeah. Um, I, well, I, I got a big lion heart for my yeah. grandfather, and I feel it. Well, because you're connected to Lyra during that whole, I believe you're actually there <laughs> when it was destroyed. <laughs> and the Lyra oh. Wars are involved with too. And it's so, that's why you are so intertwined with this planet. <laughs> Interesting. I do see like you're having difficult issues with the Palladians because they weren't always being honest. Like there was. A, a, a group of them that was not good, but they weren't always, you know, the more positive Palladians were not saying, they were not speaking about it. They kind of kept it quiet. <laughs> and you feel like you discovered it the hard way. <laughs> mm. Almost like you think you're being assisted and you end up attacking you. <laughs> so that's how it's here on this planet. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I can say the wearing the feline is one of the reasons why you're, yeah, your knighthood to connect to this world, you know, to protect it doesn't mean you have to constantly protect it. I mean, obviously, energetically, you will be. But yeah, you're basically just heal, healing the you know, within yourself the wearing uh, lineage, um, the wearing wars with the reptilians. Mm -hmm. You're still right. uh, man. And uh, what's my connection with Chrissy Campbell? with all this that i'm doing with her uh well soulmate and other realities but uh, you definitely are feline beings that are very connected um she just feels like she's still healing a lot of her human yeah you just you both can you know gravitate towards each other so you're just kind of filling in the blanks with each other as you could see <laughs> How long that goes is up to you. It doesn't have to go on forever, though. But it'll go on as long as it needs to. Yeah, so, I keep seeing her in uh, our military operations and, like, the barracks and stuff. Uh, well, she's like a, a healer, a telepath, the, kind of like a mystic there. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess that's one of her aspects. But yeah, I would, actually, I would see her heal on you know, battlefields. And yeah, stuff when she, I but... Injured. Well, she might have been a healer, but she wasn't always good at protecting herself. <laughs> yeah, she'd hang in the back. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah and then she would get, but when she, when being, yeah, so she was kind of a target for the enemy. <laughs> and they did get to her every now and then. That's, yeah, I would say they're helping her through this process in this incarnation. Mm -hmm. As you see her getting attacked in one of those realities and being, you know, kind of, found herself here you could say <laughs> yeah okay. so you're kind of like you're kind of like a medic you're helping her you know unlock herself from the planet of course you're doing the same thing for yourself she's helping you also <laughs> mm -hmm. she was definitely sent here by almost like a blast like an explosion sent here almost by mistake but you know obviously an attack uh, obviously there's much more to it so wise you know there's part of the plan you can say on a higher level very high <laughs> okay uh but for you it's like this world it's almost like you're 
like a grandfather of this planet in some way, like one of its found, kind of like one of its founding fathers. I don't know if you feel that way ever. But... Yeah, I do. Uh, so actually, a woman told me that I have really old, tired eyes. So... Yeah. So you're like one of the modern Earth. Yeah, you like you hear about the Egyptians creating the modern society. Well, you mm -hmm. go much further than that. And like, I don't think he wanted to be remembered or it wasn't that important, <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but yes, you're part of the, the feline energies with Egypt throughout history. The Druids is a yeah. strong, but yeah, you just feel it goes beyond the Atlantean connections, too, but it does go back to the feline frequencies for sure. <laughs> and, you know, the Nordic human, different versions of human. Uh, and then the Homo sapiens, interesting as a feline being, you're actually watching out for them as an alien entity, just keeping an eye on them so they don't okay. get wiped out by some race, which was a possibility. <laughs> yeah. A reset, basically. And it was technically a reset, but it was done, you know, properly instead of just getting rid of, you know, resetting the whole plan. <laughs> So, because humans had to go through their evolution. So, yes, you've been part of the human evolution in your own way. That I was saying exactly in the details of that. <laughs> okay. Like from Neanderthal to humans now. You've had some connections for all. Ape, even apes. You have, you have some back and forth energies of the apes. Good and bad. I mean, there's just, yeah, you've seen different sides of their personalities. Uh, as a feline... When, yeah, I just confronted them because they were abusing humans. It was like reptilians just doing things that they probably shouldn't be doing. So, because they're a little bit more evolved at the time, or still are, but yeah. So they're kind of giving back. So, yeah, your connection with the ape energies. I'm not sure if you ever looked into that, but that's. No, I've never. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Well, probably because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, that would. What I get from them will trip you out. <laughs> okay. I think some of the stuff when you tap into then you won't even believe half of what you're picking up on. But uh it's colorful realities, kind of different color apes, crazy yellow ape, you know, crazy vert, you know, oh, yeah, I, honestly when you said yellow, I I, I was thinking of yellow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just crazy, yeah, crazy looking designs. Mm. Um doesn't mean they're all maniacs, but there was moments of just, they're just completely insane. <laughs> so, uh, similar to the few lines to some level, but they could take on the reptilians. They're ready for that. They're ready for those guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost like they're come on down. <laughs> course, there are apes that just screw around. That is true. There are worlds, yeah, they just screw up. But that's not, reptilians would not want that. They want the ones, I can say the warriors, the ones with all the, jewels all the all the stuff you know all the you know that's reptilians want you know like pirates <laughs> mm -hmm. if they're going to attack they want to take the jewelry take every but those the apes are ready for attack like you know like what happened in Lyra. <laughs> but the warrens didn't really communicate with a lot of species during that time <laughs> all right so okay and i guess we can close off by any any last messages from anyone that wants to come in um one moment. yes blessings greens with our with our trans again greens oh, to you greens. um yeah the your connections you uh zeta will eventually zeta societies assisting them Sometimes turn your back on some of them because they've been terrible. But there's also, I feel like there's an assistance there also, like learning from them. They're not always giving out information about this world, but I feel like you're building like some kind of truce with them to understand more of this planet because they have knowledge here that they're not sharing. Mm -hmm. It'll help you in your evolution too. Yeah, it's kind of your connection to artificial intelligence. Uh, you freed a lot of beings from AI. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And that will, even like a total recall situation, um, humans with like uh, implants, yeah, just all of these. Yeah. So some of that might start coming because those beings are here now. <laughs> Doesn't mean okay. they're going to do that to society. They kind of are to some level, but nothing like what you've experienced. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, yeah. A, well, before we go, yeah, A, I think you've already know about the AI worlds, like uh, was it Transformers worlds or what's all Yeah, I was really about involved it? with that. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Some of those are in other universes. The whole universe is that. Okay. It is all a just everything you can think of. <laughs> it's all <laughs> there. All machine. It's not for everybody. You've definitely been there a lot. Just fascinated by it. Just it's like I think you're still exploring it. <laughs> to give you yeah. a little bit more, uh, the battery. Something about the battery technology, how they ran, was very okay. unique. More, yeah, you're called the house part. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because your your cars here are a joke <laughs> compared to what <laughs> I would. Mean. Yeah, it's just like nuts. But anyway, I think you understand. So yeah, awesome. That's so yes. funny. Yes. Yeah, I, I I think that's why I always mock Elon Musk. Yes. Exactly. Oh I'm yeah. Always, I wrote a story about. Him. I said he's a fool. Yes, exactly. He's well, you can see it, but you can't invent it. Mm. Um, he has visions, but yeah, it's kind of like a. I guess some of us say I want to be or something like that. But oh my god, this whatever. is great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yes. Blessings. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All that right. was great. All right. Welcome. All right. All right. Yeah, good to see you. All right. All right. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Have a good night. All right. Let's, 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 what do you got here? Oh.